Blue Lock, Chapter 249, The Beginning We see a close-up of Rin and Shidu as PXG decides to play them at the same time as they're trying to do the same thing as the clashing Asagi versus Kaiser system. Whether they're going to stay out of fighting each other is a different question in its entirety. This could either have major drawbacks for the PXG team or make them win the game as it looks like they decided to go all-in on a high-risk, high-reward formation to take Bastard Munchen down. Isagi's excitement grows as he faces Rin and Shidu's double stand standard system. Use that heightened fighting spirit to engrave your ego and worth to the world egoist. Isagi is getting really excited as he might already get in a flow state. He finds the situation interesting as he realizes that this is what a battle for the top spot looks like. Isagi is definitely going to have a hard time, but he can do it. We see a close-up of Noel Noah and Julian Loki now to empathize that they are standing on this big stage against incredible rivals. It looks like Bastard Munchen is going to get the kickoff as Ness and Kaiser are going to make the first moves. The Bastard Munchen players are going for nothing less than total and absolute victory. The game has officially started now as Ness passed the ball towards Kaiser with Shidu presumably being his first obstacle as it's time for Asagi to become number one. We immediately get action as Shidu charges up towards Kaiser as he tries to throw him off balance but Kaiser doesn't budge. Shidu tries to steal the ball but Kaiser slides back with the ball as he passed it toward Ness on the right side and roulettes passed Shidu in a very fashionable way. Ness noticed Kaiser as he passed the ball back to him but there was a crow on its way and that crow is no other than Karasu Tabito as he intercepts the ball before it could even reach Kaiser. But hold on a minute, it's not over yet, as we see the leg of Kunigami appear. He went in for a sliding and tapped the ball away from Karasu as the ball was soaring high in the air now. It looks like it's falling towards Reichi, but Zantetsu caught up to him very quickly despite the big gap that they had before he dashed forward, which means that Zantetsu has leveled up his sprinting a lot. If you're enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing. They both hit the ball at the same time as it bounces off as Hiyori and Tokimitsu are now now fighting for ball possession, while Nanasi is running towards them in the background, and he somehow managed to catch up as he tapped the ball away from them. The start of this match really is kind of like a dog-eats-dog -dog battle as it's interception after interception being displayed here. The ball goes towards Itoshi Rin now, but we see the meta-vision eyes which could only mean one thing. Isagi has been able to catch up to Rin as he headbutted the ball away from him. He told Rin that it was too lukewarm as Rin told Isagi to keep talking while he still can, which means that he's going to go back at him rather soon. The viewers behind their screens are going crazy as Asagi falls to the ground and the ball bounces off. A high-level exchange of offense and defense is being displayed, which makes this feel like a chess match. Forget feeling each other out, these two teams are going for the kill right from the start. It seems as if the announcer tells the viewers to keep their eyes peeled on their screens to see who is going to win, who is going to become the first Neo Egoist League champion as the battle for the title has begun. This would mean that there are going to be multiple Neo-Egoist Leagues. This could mean that more people are potentially going to get chances to play for the U-20 team later down the line, as I don't think that Ego Jinpachi is going to lose his authority anytime soon with the massive success of Blue Lock Television. In the last chapter, Buritsuda showed the numbers to FIFA after all, as it was confirmed that Blue Lock Television has over 100 million subscribers worldwide, which is a lot of money. Things are getting heated quickly as both teams get out to explosive starts. As the audience's excitement rises, it's up to each egoist to prove their worth, score goals, and lead their team to victory. It's time to announce their presence to the world, to be continued in Chapter 250, The Unknown. Watch this video next where I explain why Bastard Munchen versus PXG is going to be peak.